Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render a QuickTime movie or export a movie with a transparent or alpha channel background. So I'm in here in After Effects CC 2015. Right now I have a timeline open with a lower third animation. I'm going to extend this work area so I get the whole thing. There we go. So I'm going to make sure the work area is set and also make sure that we have a transparent background. And to just check that really quickly, uh, if you can go to the toggle transparency grid button here at the bottom of the comp viewer, if you click on that, you'll see this gray and white checkerboard shows you what is transparent and you can see that our text is not transparent. The green bars are a little bit transparent and that's okay, we want that look. So this is good to go click off of the toggle transparency grid, we can let that go away. So this background color in this composition, go to the composition settings, is set to black, now click OK. If you had a layer that was the size of this composition, it was let's say behind everything, and you clicked on this toggle transparency grid, you'll see that nothing happens. Well, it's not transparent because you have a layer that is covering up the background of this composition. So. If you select that shape layer and then you make it smaller, toggle your transparency. Now you'll see that elements that are visible and the ones that will be transparent. So if you're having trouble with this, um, just make sure that you don't have anything in the background. So now you're ready to render. Go to the composition menu and select add to render queue. In the render queue, we'll want to make sure that our best settings are selected. And we're going to change the output module here by clicking lossless. So we'll click on this. This will open up the output module settings for your render. We're going to stay with QuickTime. And in the format options, we're going to make sure that animation is selected. You can also use Apple ProRes 4444, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to stick with animation. I'm going to click OK. And next in this channels menu, we're going to use this drop down menu and go to RGB plus alpha. And this is going to create your alpha channel for your transparent background. We'll click OK. Click on the output to area. Make sure it's going where you want it to go or somewhere where you'll be able to find it on your computer. Click Save. And then you can hit the Render button. This is a really quick, short render, so we're just going to let it play out. There we go. All done. So if you go to the output module and twirl down this triangle, we're going to select this file path. And this will open up a window where our render is. I'm going to select our render and we're going to drag it into our After Effects project. You'll see it here in the project panel. I'm going to select it and drag it to a new composition. So you'll see it's playing back and there's a black background. And that's because in the composition settings, our background color is black. Now if you changed it to a different color, this is a good way to see that our render turned out great. So now you can overlay this animation on pretty much anything. And you can also import it into Premiere or any of your editing software that you prefer. So as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can actually save everything that we just did for your future renders. And to do that, we'll go to Edit, Templates, Output Module. Then you'll select New and an out, the output module settings menu will show up. We have QuickTime selected, animations already selected. Now let's change the channels to RGB plus alpha and click OK. And I'm going to name this Render with Alpha Channel and then click OK. Let's say we want to render this again. We'll go back to the render comp, go to composition, Add to Render Queue. Now when you go to the Render Queue, in the Output Module area, you'll select this triangle and you should be able to find your preset, Render with Alpha Channel. Just select that and you're all set to go. Now this lower third animation that you saw in this tutorial is part of a free pack of lower thirds that you can download at flexvfx.com for free. Thanks a lot for watching.